Hello all you beautiful people. We are so excited to announce our brand new app. Make sure you download it. Check the link in the description. Artificial Intelligence Apocalypse. Scientists simulate superintelligence in video game and the AI takes over. Well, what else would you expect? The rise of powerful artificial intelligence, Professor Stephen Hawking once warned, will be either the best or the worst thing ever to happen to humanity. Unfortunately, by the time we find out which, it may already be too late. But a new video game simulation may offer clues as to what we might expect. Well, just a second here. How in the world can someone say, either be the, the worst or the best thing to ever happen to humanity? How, how in the world does that work? We could plan accordingly instead of just going with the flow of things. Because this could end horrifically. Scientists at the University of Cambridge Center for the Study of Existential Risk have built a super intelligence modification for the classic strategy game Civilization V that envisions a scenario in which a smarter than human AI is introduced to society. One outcome offers a dire prophecy of the demise of humanity, achieving the game's aim of helping players better understand the existential threat posed by advanced artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence can initially provide some benefits and eventually can turn into super intelligence that brings mastery of science to its discoverer. The researchers write in the add-on's description. However, if too much artificial intelligence research goes uncontrolled, rogue superintelligence can destroy humanity and bring an assistant, in, excuse me, bring an instant loss of the game. In this scenario, a message appears in the game that reads, a device for creating utopia on earth has been discovered, and your civilization was not the one to discover it. Future generations will live in a perfect world, but someone else's perfect world, as your civilization lies forgotten in the ancient books of history. It is not the first video game to imagine the detrimental consequences of a rogue AI, with the game reenacting a well-known AI thought experiment going viral in October last year. The game Paperclips explored the parable of an AI program to manufacture paperclips, first described by the philosopher Nick Bostrom in a 2003 paper exploring ethical issues in advanced artificial intelligence. While the goal of this AI is simple, if it is not programmed to value human life, then it could eventually gather all matter in the universe, including human beings, in order to create more paper clips. That is how detrimental and dangerous these things are. They don't value human life. That was the perfect example. Let me read that section again. The game Paper Clips explored the parable of an AI programmed to manufacture paper clips, first described by the philosopher Nick Bostrom. Now, let me go back again. It was programmed to manufacture paperclips. Whoever is programming the artificial intelligence controls the manufacturing of whatever it's designed to do, correct? Well, if that it continues, while the goal of this AI is simple, if it is not programmed to value human life or any life, then it could eventually gather all matter in the universe, including human beings, in order to create more paperclips. How messed up is that? Both games highlight the fear that a machine smarter than humans will be impossible to switch off. At a conference in 2015, Bostrom hypothesized why Neanderthals didn't wipe out humans when they had the chance to avoid being taken over as the dominant species on the planet. They certainly had reasons, Bostrom said in his TED uh, talk. The reason is that we are an intelligent adversary. We can anticipate threats and plan around them. But so could a super intelligent agent. And it would be much better at that than we are. Other academics already working on safeguards and ways to preclude such risk, most notably Google's DeepMind, headed by another video game simulation pioneer, Demis Hassabis. In a peer-reviewed paper in 2016, researchers from DeepMind described an off switch that would override any previous commands and shut down the AI and prevent any potential apocalyptic scenarios. This is, this is pretty detrimental to human life, but why in the world are we creating these things? Are we that helpless? You see, this is where it's got a familiar tune to it. Mankind is seeking salvation. 
whether it be through Jesus Christ, the only true way, or through artificial intelligence. They need tools to save themselves from whatever it is. And I know I called them a tool, but that's not exactly what they're describing these things as. My goodness, they've created an artificial religion for it. These are very interesting times we live in. That's all I've got for you. Make sure you download our free mobile app. God bless and carry on.